Hey y'all, Queen Tay here. So I just wanted to drop in and make another quick video about how to build your resume as a travel nurse. So ultimately, you know, I have told you before that you get paid more depending on where, you, depending on your specialty. So you get paid more depending on the specialty. Um, so, you know, ICU, critical care, that type of thing, those labor and delivery, um, any of the specialty areas, they tend to get a higher pay. So how do you make yourself more marketable to either one, just receive higher pay or just make a, a, a nurse manager want to hire you? So ultimately, you're going to um, get experience in that specialty. If you don't have like a level one trauma center near you, um, you want to get a per diem job at a, a location that is a level one trauma center. That way you're used to making, or you're used to treating higher acuity patients. So, you know, sometimes, well, if you work in a level one trauma center, you know that you see a variety of disease processes. You see a, a variety of um, just, types of patients and types of circumstances. So you learn to adapt to that higher acuity environment. It makes it more um, easier for when you go into these hospitals to adapt to their situations as well. Um, so just making sure that you are getting that experience in that specialty also, or getting a per diem job in that specialty. And also, you want to give yourself that flexibility. So if you have nurse A, sorry, I'm sure y'all can hear Jordan in the background rolling around on the carpet. <laughs> um, if you have the one nurse who is like, I, you know, I want to, um, you can have one nurse who is like, I don't want to work weekends or, you know, I'm requesting all this time off which I will definitely talk about in another video, how to um, request time and still be able to keep your nursing contracts. Um, so make sure you subscribe. So anyway, um, you have one nurse who's not flexible. She doesn't want to work weekends or, you know, she might have more experience, but she's just not as flexible. Well, here you have you who might have less, less years of experience, but you're more flexible to work with what they're asking for. So, you know, you just want to make sure you're not as rigid with working weekends, working holidays. And believe it or not, most travel nurses don't work holidays because most hospitals don't want to pay them that hospital rate. Um, so, you know, you do have the option to work the, the um, holiday hours, with, well, depending on if that hospital wants to give them to you or not. But mo a lot of nurses end up not working the holidays just because they don't want to have to pay them because you get paid like double rate. Um, but you just want to make sure you are as flexible as possible. This means being flexible with your schedule, being flexible with being able to float because a lot of these hospitals will make you float. So you want to be very mindful of that just might happen and, and be flexible with that. Um, some hospitals, depending, depending on your contract, which, you know, just know what you're getting into, they will have you float between hospitals. So I have had a contract where I had to float between two different hospitals. So just know that that is, a, a, that is an option and, or that, is, that can happen. Um, also, just know that there are some hospitals that will float you multiple times throughout your shift. So again, just being flexible, being willing to... Um, getting the experience in your specialty or in a specific specialty so the goal is you want these hospitals to be begging to have you as their nurse so you want to just have the strongest resume have the strongest background do work with some committees you know com working with committees are always nice getting your certifications whether it's acls bls pals um, or getting your ccrn getting your ccm like just getting those certifications that just make you scream, I have experience, I know how to do this, and I will be an asset to your unit or your hospital. Make yourself marketable.
you know, be willing to float to other floors just so you can adapt to being in a different environment because that is going to be extremely important when it comes to travel nursing. All right. If you have any more questions, drop them below, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Oh,